Hello everyone and welcome to our Gainful series. Today we'll be covering the news from April 15th to April 21st. Let's get started. Which country is going to host the world's foremost AI summit, AI Everything? Nirbhay, the long-range subsonic cruise missile of India is developed by which agency? Bus ticketing platform Redbus announced that it has appointed cricketer, which cricketer as its brand ambassador. Fertility doctors in Greece and which place say they have produced a baby from three people in order to overcome a woman's infertility. Mohammed Ishtai became the Prime Minister of which country? UAE is set to host the world's foremost artific artificial intelligence AI summit to empower global dialogue on the future of government, business and society. The indigenously developed Nirbhay is developed by DRDO. Bus ticketing platform Redbus has announced that it has appointed cricketer Mahendra Singh Dhoni as its brand ambassador. Fertility doctor in Greece and Spain say they have produced a baby from three people. New Palestinian Prime Minister Mohammed Istai has and his cabinet member were sworn in before President Mohammed Abbas at his headquarter in the West Bank city of Ramallah. Where was India's first water park inaugurated? India is joining hands with Japan and which other country to implement two projects in Africa. Which financial services company has launched campaign Bijli on EMI? Which country has successfully tested the world's first arm amphibious drone boat? Kento Momota of which country is the winner of men's single title at 2019 Singapore Open? India's first of its kind water park was inaugurated in Gurugram. India joining hand with Japan and UAE to implement two projects in Africa as it seeks to extend its footprint on the continent where strategic rival China has made deep inroads. Bajaj FinServe through its lending arm Bajaj Finance Limited has launched a unique proposition through its campaign Bijli on EMI wherein customers buying air conditions on EMI can avail Insta credit loan on their Bajaj FinServe wallet which they can use to pay their electricity bill on EMI. China has successfully tested world's first armed amphibious drone boat which Chinese military analysts claim could be used in land assault operation and is capable of forming a combat triad with aerial drones and other drone ships. The 2019 Singapore Open was a badminton tournament which took place in Singapore Indoor Stadium in Singapore from 9 to 14th of April. Men's single Kento Momota was the winner. He is from Japan and women's single Tai Zhu Ying from Taiwan. Dr. S. K. Shiv Kumar, who passed away recently, was a renowned what? Bohag Bihu or Rongali is the harvest or sowing festival of Harshil Dani is associated with the sports of the union cabinet chaired by PM Modi has approved a cooperation agreement between India and which country in the field of renewable energy with a focus on offshore wind energy. The union cabinet chaired by PM Modi has approved ongoing GSLV continuation program phase 4 consisting of 5 GSLV flights during the period from 2021 to which year. Renowned space scientist and former ISRO satellite center director S. K. Shiv Kumar passed away. So he was a space scientist. Assam is all gear to celebrate Rongali or Bohag Bihu is the harvest or sowing festival and the Assamese New Year started from April 15th. Mumbai youngest youngster Harshil Dani won the 20th Victor Dutch International Badminton title at Wateringen in the Netherlands against Denmark's Matt Christofferson. The Union Cabinet has given its approval for cooperation agreement between Ministry of New and Renewable Energy of India and Ministry of Energy, Utilities and Climate of Kingdom of Denmark. The Union Cabinet, chaired by PM Narendra Modi, has approved the ongoing GSLV continuation program Phase 4 consisting of 5 GSLV flights during 21-24. Researchers from which country has printed the world's first 3D vascularized engineered heart? 
where is UNESCO's World Heritage Site Notre Dame located? Which, with which of the following space agencies has NASA collaborated to launch the double asteroid redirection test spacecraft? How many teams from India have been awarded at NASA's annual Human Exploration Rover Challenge? The 72nd Himachal Day was celebrated on which day of April? A team of Tel Aviv University researchers has printed the world's first 3D vascularized engineered heart which was made using patient's own cell and biological material. In France, a raging fire that tore through Notre Dame Cathedral, a UNESCO's World Heritage Site in central Paris has been controlled. Firefighter managed to save the 850-year-old Gothic building's main stone structure, including two towers, but the spire and roof collapsed. NASA is testing a new way to defend Earth from asteroid strikes. The agency is awarded SpaceX a contract as part of a plan to knock an asteroid off course. NASA has awarded three teams from India as part of US Space Agency's annual Human Exploration Rover Challenge, which invites high school and college students to build and test roving vehicles for future missions to Moon, Mars and beyond. The 72nd Himachal Day was celebrated with gaiety and fervor in the state on April 15th. Where was the fourth resilient site Asia Pacific RCAP? Congress 2019 organized. According to the Center for Disease Dynamics, Economics and Policy, CDDEP, there is a shortage of how many lakh doctors in India? Pulsier Prize is awarded for which field? Which bank has launched the NRI Insta online services of NRI? Which state celebrates Poila Boishak, the New Year Festival? The fourth resilient site, Asia Pacific Congress, was held in New Delhi. There is shortage of 6 lakh doctors in India, according to Center of Disease Dynamics, Economic and Policy. Headquarters is Washington, D.C. The Pulsier Prize is award for achievement in newspaper, magazine and online journalism, literature and music composition in the United States. The non-resident Indians NRIs living nearly in nearly 40 countries will now be able to open account in IDBI Bank without submitting paper documents. April 15 ushered in Poila Boisak, the Bengali New Year, amidst traditional gaiety and fervor. ICC has partnered with which company for one, uh, which organization I should say, for one day for children campaign. Which bank has appointed Rajesh Kumar Yaduvanshi as its executive director? Who among the following has been named as a goodwill ambassador for Indian team for the Street Child Cricket World Cup? Dash has been awarded the prestigious Kellant Model Bank 2019 award in category of financial inclusion for redesigning lending to reach small businesses. The UN owes India how many million dollars for peacekeeping operation as of March 2019? ICC Cricket for Good in partnership with UNICEF announced a one day for child at ICC Men's Cricket World Cup. Punjab National Bank has appointed Rajesh Kumar Yaduvanshi as the chief uh, as the executive director of the bank. Ace cricketer Mithali Raj has been named as the goodwill ambassador of the Indian team for Street Child Cricket World Cup. FinCare Small Finance Bank has been awarded the prestigious Excellent Model Bank 2019 award in the category of financial inclusion. The United Nations owes India 38 million, the highest it has to pay to any country for the peacekeeping operation as of March 2019. The second edition of the bilateral maritime exercise between Indian Navy and Vietnamese People Navy was concluded at which place? Recently, which of the following telecommunication companies has started a new service named Kotoha? The theme for the World Hemophilia Day 2019 is what? According to the new guidelines by DPAM, DIPM, for monetization of non-core assets of central public sector enterprises, the monetization of identified assets should be completed within how many months? Who has commissioned the Indian Coast Guard ship Vera? The Indian Navy undertook the second edition of bilateral maritime exercise between Indian Navy and Vietnamese People Navy of Cam Ran Bay in Vietnam. Japanese telecommunication company NTT Communication introduced the latest series of AI-based assisted communication 
engine to promote dynamic engagement of all citizens to solve problems of shrinking labor force and aging society. April 17th is the World Hemophilia Day. It was the theme was reaching out, connect to your community. The Department of uh, Investment and Public Asset Management, that DPM, they have set a di uh, guideline of 12 months from the date of approval. That is for the uh, concerned ministry approves the assets for monetization. If it is uh, approved by the administration, the concerned administration, the time limit given is 12 months. Chief of Army Staff General Vipin Rabat commissioned Indian Coast Guard ship Vira. So this is important, a ship, but Indian. Army uh, Chief of Indian Army Staff has done it. So, uh, unlike all, all the ships by Sunil Lamba, this is by uh, Bipin Rawat. Where has Google opened its first African based AI lab? Jalit Burka and Ar Abra Milwa is associated with which sports? Dash, a mini sat research satellite to detect cosmic rays flown into space on future mission of the US Space Agency, which in bank has received approval of CCI to acquire Groove Finance Bank, named the first Indian to be inducted to the National Geospatial Advisory Committee in US. Google has opened its first Africa-based AI lab in Accra, Ghana. Ethiopian athlete Jalit Burka and Abra Milwa won the 43rd edition of Paris Marathon, so they are the marathon runner. A team chosen by NASA to have their CubeSat, it's a mini research satellite to detect cosmic rays flown into space on future mission of US Space Agency. Bandhan Bank Limited has been given the approval by CCI for its proposed acquisition of Groove Finance, the Kolkata based bank. Now Sanjay Kumar, Delhi based Sanjay Kumar, CEO of Geospatial Media and Communication Secretary General of World's Geospatial Industry Council is the first Indian to be inducted into National Geospatial Advisory Council. Dash has partnered with M1 Exchange Trade Receivable Discounting System TREDS platform for MSME bill discounting, which is India's largest app for financial services. Name the private blockchain and quasi cryptocurrency that has been launched jointly by IMF and World Bank. Which public sector bank became the first to shift to EVM chip-based card? Which Indian are named in Time magazine 100 most influential people in the world? Bank of Maharashtra has partnered with MI Exchange Trade Receivable and Discounting System platform for MSMEs bill discounting. India's largest app for financial services, ET Money, announced that it has in Nog integrated unified payment system as payment method on its platform and it looks to double its monthly user base by the end of year. The International Monetary Fund and World Bank have set foot in blockchain and cryptocurrency arena as they jointly launched a private blockchain quasi cryptocurrency called Learning Coin. This is mostly for academic purpose. ACI Worldwide, a global provider of real-time electronic payment and banking solution, announced that Canra Bank has successfully rolled out major new functionalities to support EMV cards acquiring uh, across its ATM network and Aadhaar authentication. Reliance Industry Chairman Mukesh Ambani and pub public interest litigator Arundhati Kajju and Menaka Guruswami, who spearheaded a historical legal battle for LGBTQ rights in India, are among the Indians who have been named by the Time magazine. Name the first satellite of Nepal, name the first satellite of Sri Lanka, which hotel aggregator company is going to launch a program open for its asset owners, which bank has appointed Kaushik Saparia as its CEO, what is India's rank in the world's press freedom index 2019. Nepal has successfully launched its first satellite, Nepalisat into space from Virginia in the United States. The satellite was developed by the Nepali scientist. Nepali Sat 1 is a low orbit satellite. Nepal Academy of Science and Technology, NAST, initiated the launch of country's own satellite under the BIRDS project of the Japanese Kyushu Institute of Technology. Sri Lanka's first satellite is called Ravana 1, which was launched into space from NASA's space uh, flight facility on Virginia's east shore. Ravana 1 weighs around 1 kg and its lifespan of satellite is around 1.5 years. 
Oyo Hotels and Homes is launching a new program for its over 8,700 asset owners called Oyo Partners Engagement Network, which will be a year-long initiative for its partners in India to reach their business goal. Deutsche Bank appointed Kaushik Sapparia as the Chief Executive Officer for India to succeed Ravneet Gill. She left the bank to head private sector Yes Bank earlier this year. India has dropped two places on Global Press Freedom Index to be ranked 140th out of 180 countries. World Heritage Day was observed on which day of April? Which organization recently released a new recommendation on 10 ways of use of digital technology for health? Recently, 150 Indian peacekeepers have been awarded medals for their supreme dedication and sacrifice in which, which place? Who is the new CPO of PwC? Who is the new chairman of industry body India Electronics and Semiconductor Association? In 1982, International Council on Monument and Site declared 18th April as the World Heritage Day to raise awareness about the monument and other sites which form a part of our history and culture. The World Health Organization on April 17, 2019 released a new recommendation on 10 ways that country can use digital technology accessible via mobile, phones, tablets and computer to improve people's health and essential services. Earning glory for the nation, 150 Indian peacekeepers serving with, UN, uh, serving with UN mission, UN miss in South Sudan have been awarded Medal of Honor for their supreme dedication and sacrifice in Malakal, South Sudan. PwC India has announced the appointment of Padmaja Alaganandan as the firm's new Chief People Officer. India Industry Body, India Electronic and Semiconductor Association said it has appointed Jitendra Chadda as its chairman. Stray Equipment Finance Limited and Dash have entered into a co-lending arrangement for infrastructure equipment. Who will host 15th G20 Leader Summit 2020? The Government of India has suspended the LOC trade in JNK from which date of April? Researchers from which country have claimed to have found a new method to improve lithium-ion battery that can charge in a matter of minutes? Recently, the International Hockey Federation has imposed a fine of 170,000 euro on which hockey federation, which country? Shrey Equipment Finance Limited and India's second largest state-run bank of Baroda have entered into a co-lending arrangement for infrastructure. Saudi Arabia will host the 15th annual G20 Leaders Summit on November 21st and 22nd, 2020 in its capital, Riyadh. The government has suspended the LOC tra trade in Jammu and Kashmir from April 19. This is in was taken because government has been receiving reports that cross LOC trade routes are being misused by Pakistan based elements for funneling illegal weapon, narcotics, and fake currency. In recent research, uh, research scientists based in New York Re Rensselaer Polytechnic have discovered a high capacity lithium ion battery that can charge in a matter of minutes. International Hockey Federation FIH has imposed a hefty fine of 170,000 euros on Pakistan Hockey Federation for not honoring the pro league commitments, but the cash strapped PHF said it, has, it is in no position to pay the penalty. Jaydeep Sarkar has been appointed as India's next High Commissioner to which place? Named the first Indian woman to be elected to the Fellow of Royal Society, Shayofel. Kundaling Monastery is located where recently, where was the English translation of 100 years old classic Punjabi poem about Jallianwala Bagh massacre, Khuni Vaisakhi released, which Indian ships are participating in the International Fleet Review as part of 70th anniversary celebration of PLA. Jaydeep Sarkar has been appointed as India's next High Commissioner to South Africa. The Royal Society of London has announced less of 51 eminent scientists elected to this uh, to its fellowship in the year of 2019, among these is Gagandeep Kang, who is now with the Translational Health Science and Technology Institute, Faridabad. Dr. Kang is the first Indian woman to be elected to the Fellow of Royal Society. India has rebuilt Shayofel Kundaling Monastery in Nepal. A book containing English translation of 100-year-old Punjabi poem, classic Punjabi poem about Jalia Bhalabhag massacre, Khuni Vaisakhi, has been released in Abu Dhabi. 
INS ship Kolkata and Shakti are scheduled to arrive in Qingdao, China on 21st April 19 to participate in international fleet review as part of 7th year anniversary celebration of PLA. The 7th China International Technology Fair has been started where Varun is the naval exercise between India and which country, while Liver Day is observed on which day of April. American Zeri Cobb, who died at the age of 88, was what? Yusuf Hamid, who has been honored in the 2019 list of new fellows of UK's Royal Society, is chairman of the 7th China International Technology Fair opened in Shanghai, a national level professional fair focused on international technology trade. India and France are all set to hold their largest ever naval exercise in uh, uh, earlier may 2019 the conduct of varun exercise and the special impetus on taking this navy to navy cooperative engagement format was reiterated in the joint statement made by prime minister of india and president of france world liver day which was observed which is observed every year on april 19th to create awareness and understanding the importance of liver america's first female astronaut candidate pilot zeri cobb who pushed for equality in space but never reached its height, has died at the age of 88. The prominent scientist and businessman Yusuf Hamid is among Indian origin expert on a 2019 list of new fellow of UK Royal Society. 82-year-old chairman of pharmaceutical major Sipla has been made honorary fellow of the prestigious body. Which Indian bank has provided soft loans of US dollar 266 million to Rwanda for various projects? Recently, which general insurance company has been awarded ISO 31000? Dr. Suhail uh, Azaz Khan has been appointed as the next ambassador of India to which place? Where was national conclave on women's empowerment through financial literacy organized by Learning Link Foundation in association with Vodafone India Foundation organ organized? Uh, according to the recent survey conducted by Rajasthan Forest Department, how many great Indian busters are there in Jaisalmer area? The Reserve Bank of India said Exim Bank has provided soft loan of 266 million to Rwanda for various projects. Cholamandalam MS General Insurance Company Limited has been certified with ISO 31000. Dr. Suhail Azaz Khan has been made the uh, the next ambassador to Republic of Lebanon, capital Beirut, currency Lebanese pound. The National Conclave on Women Empowerment through Financial Literacy, organized by the Learning Link Foundation in association with Vodafone India Foundation, it happened in Hyderabad. There are 150 great Indian busters in Rajasthan Desert National Park. The Time of India reported on 15th April 29, quoting a state forest official. The claim does not completely align with previous report of 150 bird of species for the whole of India put forward by the Wildlife Institute of India. The bird, a critically endangered species listed in the International Union of Conservation of Nature Red List, is also found in Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh. The DNP spread over Jodhpur, Jaisalmer, Barmer and Bikar district, however, remains its main habitat. Now, it's I think Supreme Court or NGT has given them a mandate to uh, to the state forest department to give the exact figure whether the 150 is for the entire India or for the GIB. So that mandate they will have to come up with uh, a reply to uh, that request. Amar Pal, who died at the age of 96, was a noted what folk singer. Which agency has released the safety and health at the heart of the future of work building on 100 years of experience? Recently, which space agency has released twin study? The union cabinet chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi has approved funds to the tune of how many crore to implement 10% EWS reservation quota in higher education. American astronaut Christina Koch is all set to create a record for the longest space flight by a woman as she will remain in orbit until February 2020. Currently, this record is held by which astronaut? Noted Bengali folk singer Amar Pal died in Kolkata. UN Labour Agency ILO International Labour Organization report has said warning that 2.78 million workers die from occupational accident and work-related diseases each year. 
In NASA's twin study, while Scott was in space, Mark went about his daily life on Earth. So Scott and Mark were the twins. Based on their results, which were published by the journal Science, space flight can definitely trigger changes in the human body. But vast majority of these changes disappear within just a few short months of returning to Earth. I think almost two inch of his height was increased when Scott was there in space. But within months, it was back to normal. The Union Cabinet, chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, has approved funds to the tune of Rs 4,315.15 crore to implement 10% EWS reservation quota in higher education. In a recent development, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration has announced that Christina Koch is all set to create a world record for the longest space flight. Currently, it is held by Peggy Whitson. In 20, it, she did it in 2016-17 who among the following has been appointed as exclusive corporate ambassador of Ras Al Khaima Economic Zone. Admiral Sunil Lamba ha launched the third ship of project, which project guided missile destroyer Imphal at Mazagong Dock Ship Builder Limited, Mumbai, who has been re-elected as general secretary of the Asian governing body at its ordinary congress at Fuzaira in UAE. Dash became the first Indian retail company to top 1 lakh crore revenue in financial year, uh, financial year 2019. Sunil Kumar Gautam, the author of the book Samvidhan Kavya, is serving as the police officer in the police department of which state? Ras Al Khaima Economic Zone has appointed Ravi Shastri, head coach of India national cricket team, former Indian cricketer and TV commenter, as his exclusive corporate ambassador to Indian business community. Admiral Sunil Lamba, PVSM AVSM ADC Chief of Naval Staff, launched the third ship of the Project 15B guided missile destroyer M file as Mazagon Dock Ship Builders Limited, Mumbai. Project 15B ships feature cutting-edge advanced technology and are comparable to the best ships of the similar class anywhere in the world. Former Judo Federation of India Chief Mukesh Kumar re-elected as the General Secretary of the Asian Governing Body at his ordinary congress at Fujairah in the UAE. India's most valued firm by market capitalization, Reliance Industries, achieved several milestones. Reliance Retail became the first Indian retail company to top 1 lakh crore revenue in financial year 19. A Delhi police officer has been awarded Pandit Govind Ballabh Pant Award for his book Samvidhan Kavya. Bureau of Police Research and Development under Union Home Ministry gave the award to Special Commissioner of Police Operations Sunil Kumar Gautam for 2018-19. Book written for ordinary citizen and police personnel presents the provision of constitution in a simple and poetic form. Which payment bank has collaborated with Bharati AXA, AXA General Insurance to offer two-wheeler insurance, who presided over the foundation stone ceremony of the first Hindu temple in UAE's capital Abu Dhabi? All-round cricketer Conde Lange, who died at the age of 38, played for which team? Lorraine Warren, who died at the age of 96, was what? Who is the new chairman of Export Promotion Council for Handicrafts? Airtel Payment Bank has joined hands with Bharti AXA General Insurance in a bid to offer two-wheeler insurance to its customer across India. Thousands of Indians rejoice and participate in the foundation stone laying ceremony of the first Hindu temple in UAE. It was presided by Mahant Swami Maharaj. Condilanj, the Scotland all-rounder who had been diagnosed with brain tumor, has died at the age of 38. Paranormal investigator and demonologist Lorraine Warren, whose profession inspired horror film like Conjuring and the Amityville Horror, died at the age of 92. Ravinder Kumar Pasi has been elevated to the post of Chairman of the Export Promotion Council for Handicrafts. Mount Agung is located where? The first edition of Naval Commander Conference is scheduled where? Recently, which IT company has partnered with India Post in a multi-year deal for various services? Which company has started a campaign we also make tomorrow? Which e-commerce company has decided to shut down its Chinese marketplace business? In Indonesia, Mount Agung, Volcano and Bali Resort Island erupted, spewed a column of ashes up to 2 kilometers in the sky. 
the first edition of Naval Commanders Conference 2019 is scheduled in New Delhi. TCS has partnered with India Post in a multi-year deal to become multi-service digital hub, modernize the delivery of mail and packages, enhance customer experience and launch innovative services that will drive new revenues. Tata Steel's latest campaign we also make tomorrow symbolic of Steelmaker's commitment to build a greener and better future has added sparkles to its brand recall. In a rare retreat for Amazon, the e-commerce giant plans to shut down its Chinese marketplace business in July as it shifts its focus to offering mainland consumer overseas products rather than goods from local sellers. Where was Ogo Sao massacre held? The world's tallest indoor waterfall has started flowing at the new jewel Shanghai Airport Complex. Which country we are talking about? The government of India celebrates Civil Service Day every year on which day of April. How many writers have been awarded by the Chandigarh Sahitya Academy this year? Which day of April is observed as World Creativity and Innovation Day? The Mali government has come under mounting pressure over its handling of the violence in the restive Mopti region and especially a mass killing on 23rd March in which 160 people were killed in the village of Oga Sagao near the border with Burkina Faso. The world tallest indoor waterfall has started flowing in the new jewel Shanghai airport complex in Singapore. The government of India celebrates April 21st every year as Civil Service Day. Chandigarh Sahitya Academy has honored 31 writers during a function at Punjab Kala Bhavan in Chandigarh. The General Secretary, uh, General Assembly called for international recognition of April 21st as the World Creativity and Innovation Day. Athlete Asbel Kipro belongs to the intellectual property rights cell IPR cell of which institute agriculture university has been selected for the national intellectual property award 2019 which of the following indian american has been inducted into the prestigious cleveland international hall of fame what is india's rank in the startup ecosystem for 2019 by startup blink miss kismat sagar passed away at the age of 47 she served as the director of which institute the International Association of Athletic Federation Disciplinary Tribunal has banned former Olympic and World 1500-meter champion Asbel Kiprop of Kenya. The intellectual property rights cell of Kerala Agriculture University has been selected for the National Intellectual Property Award 2019. Professor Sri Srinath, an Indian-American scientist and social activist, has been inducted into the prestigious Cleveland International Hall of Fame for his contribution in application in system biology, global issues, and sustainable development. A report by Mapping and Research Center for Startup Environment of Countries Globally, Startup Blink has ranked India 17th out of 100 countries, much below the top 5 US, UK, Canada, Israel, and Australia. But well, China was placed at 27th. Director Doordarshan Kendra Lucknow, Ms. Kismat Sagar, has passed away. She was 47 years old and was suffering from cancer. Okay, so with that, we can conclude this week's Gainful. I'll again see you very soon with the next one. Thank you very much.